sunshine value farm family welcome back to another episode of the farm if you're new here you are most welcome please consider subscribing if you haven't already and also turn your notification bells not to miss out on any episodes of the farm and of course to all our returning subscribers thank you so much we really appreciate you guys so so much we are back in kajado it is really very very interesting it is an amazing journey that we are here selecting and also doing our final selection of the ship and of course it's a beautiful day i also have here my co-director on standby who's going to say hello to you guys and say something well hello everybody my name is co-director grafton and of course it's always it's always wonderful to be whether it's at our farm or at any farm as long as the sun is shining and animals <laughs> are feeding mm -hmm. it's always a wonderful day for me but today our we pleasure. actually have a special guest this young man here samuel please <laughs> Tell these people about yourself and what you do here. Okay, I'm um, Samson Kapai from Kajiado County. Uh, I do breeding, sywall, dopa, uh, and boa, cross gala. So I'm located, it's called Acacia Farm. I'm located in Kajiado County. Oh, Guys, wow. the most amazing thing for those of you that know me from Uganda mm -hmm. as an expat who's now home in Uganda, <laughs> my absolute favorite mall is Akesha, Akesha mall. mall. So when we find a farm out here named Akesha, Akesha. we have to visit. <laughs> Not just for the name, but for the breed, for exactly. the quality of the breed. Mm -hmm. Our vet, you know, Dr. Nicholas actually brought us here as well. And the location is amazing. This place is so close to town. You don't have to travel far. Usually you gotta go so deep into the boonies. In the but villages. This, is so, this farm is also the Kenyan version of City's Farm. Okay? <laughs> that is it's true. basically in the city, it's close to everything. And the quality of the breed we found here. It's often said sometimes when you when you don't really know what you're looking for, like when you don't really need to go shopping, mm -hmm. is when you usually do the best job the at best shopping. <laughs> exactly. So we had already selected the majority of the sheep we wanted to bring home. But then we came here, this is the final stop, and I got to tell It was just like you, a by the way. I wish <laughs> we came here first, first, but you know what? Nothing happens by mistake. God knows exactly what he's doing. True. We came to this place, it's beautiful, and the breed here are spectacular. First time I've ever seen mm -hmm. a boa gala cross was at Acacia Farm. So yeah. this is the gala. And the boa, Chris. See how it looks nice. Let me take it back to feed. Exactly. First time I've actually seen um, the level of sidewall that's here on the ground. It's here. So, what is a sidewall? Guys, for those of you that are from Uganda, you know we have the Ankole. Well, the national cow here is the, the sidewall. The cow of pride and tradition here is the sidewall. Mm -hmm. And this young man and his dad have some of the best in the region. We're in Kajado County, right? Yes. And this place is just amazing. So we wanted to actually give him a chance to show you guys. We always reach, teach you guys farming is amazing no matter how old you are. But to see a young man like this exactly. at his age with the passion to make the full commitment <laughs> with the passion mm. and the dedication to take this place to where it is right now, for me is in bright hands. I know. The future is bright. <laughs> so that's all I have to say. That is so true. How long has Akasha Farm been here? It has been here for around now more than 10 years. More than 10 years. Yeah. So it's like a family business. Yeah. Wow. And you had the passion for farming already. So you grew up, have you had any job before, before farming? No. This is what you know. <laughs> this is what... No, congratulations. <laughs> you see, so what does that tell what you? What does that tell you guys? You can make it in farming. This mm -hmm. could be a career. You have a son. I've been told I have a son. Mm. And you know what? The joy of every single successful Parent. business person mm -hmm. is to hope that either your son or your daughter never have to understand why it's like to work for somebody else. True. So this young man and his dad has started something special. Mm -hmm. Just like we hope you join us onto the journey of farming mm -hmm. so you can experience freedom. Yeah. Financial freedom. Freedom from stress. Freedom from the office. Mm. Freedom from having to answer to a boss. You get that here. Wow. By being your own boss. By being with the animals. Let me tell you something. No matter if you're having a bad day, the moment you make it to the farm, mm -hmm. life gets better. Mm. You understand? 
<laughs> I can't, I don't know how to communicate <laughs> that. Well, the moment you get to your farm, you with and your you animals. See the animals. Life gets better. That is so true. How is it to you, Sammy? Like, how is the farming experience for you so farming far? Farming experience has been good mm -hmm. because of the market. Okay. Getting bills from South Africa. Uh huh. Uh, so I think basically the only challenges that are there is only the drought. Yeah. The drought. Yeah. yeah. But even with the drought, guys, what they have done here, supplementing the feed. The feeds you guys have supplemented. Here. Like when we actually first pulled in, these guys were busy making hay. Hay. And just like, you know, just, just putting everything through the trough cutter, preparing everything. I just want to say you're doing a great, wonderful job. And the key thing he just said, and I hope you guys keep that in mind, when you have quality breeds, the market is always going to be good. Available. <laughs> you know? If you go for the basic, yes, you might have the numbers, but when it's time for you to sell other than to the butcher, it might get challenging. True. So I hope you take something away from this video. We're gonna actually take you guys to actually see what a side will look like. Now keep in mind, the drought has definitely impacted, impacted these animals. This, yeah. They're not at their greatest. However, we're here praying for rain. The clouds are changing. Changing so very soon. Coming soon. <laughs> So when we come back here in a few months, guys, you're not going to believe. This mm. is the before. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we'll get to share the after. See, guys, as like right now, because of the drought, these animals are about... I would say they're down to almost 50% of their natural body weight. Yeah, that is At least so true. 40% less yeah. than the typical body weight. But the beauty about these animals, they're very resilient. They're built for the climate. So even during the time of drought, they might get to the point where they're somewhat emaciated, mm. but they definitely will make a comeback the moment the rains the come rains back. It's the come same back. thing in Uganda. Exactly. You know, based on where you were in the country, the cows can get to this condition. The body scores are not that impressive at this very moment. Mm. But by the same token, these cows are majestic. They are giants. They are giants. You know, even though right now it's not really displaying in the best way because of just the drought. Yeah. But we're praying that this drought will come to an end soon. And you guys will see something spectacular when we come back here a few months Next time. Now. Yes. Yeah. This is amazing, There's guys. A bull what do you guys here. think? There's a few bulls here that you guys need to see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know in Uganda we have our king of cows, which is the Ankole. Yeah. Yeah. What's so special about the Ankole? The body structure, the horns as mm -hmm. well. It mm -hmm. signifies the pride of the Ankole people. You know how the horns are carved and huge, so it's a sense of pride. It's majestic. Too. Yes, it's majestic too. Yeah. yeah. So these ones are for the Kenyans, the Saiwas that are now feeding. This is an amazing thing that I've really realized about the, the sirewalls and this farm in particular. There's no grass, but they make an effort. So guys, as you can see, the cows are here. They are feeding them. The management of the farm is just very perfect. They know the schedule, the timing, what time they're supposed to be feeding. And of course, these guys are really very cooperative. That's what I've really seen from this farm, which every farmer out there should copy or even learn from. Because if you have good management, if you train your staff very well on what they're supposed to do, your farm is going to prosper. As you can see, the weather conditions here, they're not the best, but see what they're doing here. This is an effort made at Akasha Farm. Yeah, I agree. I mean, the fact that these guys are doing both gala and uh, boar crosses, they're also doing these incredible sidewalk Sidewalk. cows here. And uh, the actual quality of doppers here is really, truly remarkable. Um, so I give them credit, especially under these harsh conditions, to uh, the level of dedication and hard work that it takes yeah, to true. actually bust in um, you know, silage from very, very far away or the raw material and to get up every morning to actually mm. process the food itself and to feed these guys, to try to keep them going. Luckily, the rain season should be getting here sooner very rather than soon. later. But these cows are really magnificent. So yeah. this is a wonderful farm. And for those of you that are serious about farming, that are interested in cattle, this specific breed, you'll see the bull. Hopefully you capture <laughs> that in the bureau. Yes. When the drought seasons are gone, just think the females look very close mm -hmm, <laughs> to mm -hmm. that. They can get that large. And of course, the small, tiny calf you might be seeing behind us will grow up to be giants like these majestic beasts. That's true. So, you know, 
This has been a wonderful experience. Mm. Look, I can't wait to come back in a few months. In a few months when they're in even better condition. So we are going to show you guys the after. Probably when the grass is here and the rain is possibly here. That was really amazing to really see a young farmer prospering like this but really wanted to share this with you guys to also motivate some of you who are there who are really despising farming and who think maybe this is not for the young people you know people are coming on board so come on if you're out there sitting in your living room and thinking that you know farming is not for for you think about it but really appreciate you guys so much if you haven't already please go check out our social media platforms instagram is value farm ug then also facebook value farm tiktok value farm please go see what we are actually doing at value farm and our journey in farming but we appreciate you guys so much do not forget to tell a friend to tell a friend please subscribe like and share till next time bye, bye.